There's a horrible story that came out of Brooklyn. You have a young sister by the name of Brandy Odom. She was discovered by someone walking with their dog in that park. Someone murdered this young sister and dismembered her. Let's roll the clip. Who could possibly want to hurt her the way that they hurt her? Because this was brutal what they did to my kid. Nicole Odom says she's living a nightmare she never could have imagined. Her 26-year-old daughter, Brandy Odom, identified as the woman whose dismembered body was found dumped in Canarsie Park. I'm still in a state of shock. I'm still not really believing that I just went and id my daughter today. A woman walking her dog made the gruesome discovery Monday evening. Part of a naked body covered in leaves, the face bruised and swollen. Police sources say the arms and legs had been cut off and found nearby. Odom says she had no idea her daughter was in any trouble until yesterday, when the family saw a news report mentioning the unidentified body had a distinctive tattoo. I said, I'm going to the precinct to make sure that this is not my kid. But in her gut, she says she knew it was. Police sources believe Brandy was killed and dismembered someplace else, then dumped here. We ask today, God, for your strength. We ask for your comfort. Tonight, a vigil was held across from the park on Seaview Avenue. As many in the community try to grapple with the murder. We have to be diligent with regards to getting whoever committed this crime arrested. Police and loved ones are still in search of so many answers. Who would want to do this to your daughter? That's the same question that I'm trying to ask myself because my daughter was a loving child. She was sweet. She didn't have any enemies. Now, when I initially heard this story, I was like, wait a minute, what's going on? I mean, they, someone murdered this girl and dismembered her. You find the arms and legs somewhere else. I mean, that sounds like things that they do to just people who are very, very vicious, brutal and cruel. The thing is, you have all kind of sick people running around this society and we always have to be on the lookout, be vigilant and protect ourselves. They have someone running around there that should not even be in a society at all. And as a parent, you would never I would never want to be in that position where you go into the morgue and you identifying your child and your child is chopped up. I mean, we have some evil devils in this world. We really do. We have them in government. We, ha we have them on the jobs. We have them just everywhere. It seems like there's more evil people running around and less good people in this society. No morals, no honor. People don't want to tell the truth. People rather live lies. They rather be deceptive. I mean, this is a society that we living in. You know, you normally wouldn't hear anything like this especially in this country, it'd be a blue moon, but for this to happen. And then nothing was being said on social media. Someone brought it to my attention on Instagram. And I said, whoa, 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 what is this? And this should be all over the place. They need to find a person that did this. People aren't safe in Brooklyn or Manhattan or Queens or anywhere else, Harlem, with this kind of person running around society. So if anyone have any kind of information, put it out there because this could happen to someone else. This story is extremely sick to do someone something like this. But leave me a comment. If you have any information, turn it in, put it out on social media if you're afraid to go to the police, but let someone know what happened because somebody got to know uh, what happened to this young girl who's she possibly in trouble with or just something that was random.